All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to the MLG National Championships for Gears of War. It is Insanes against Infinity, and Insanes are now at game point situation going back to Canals. And this is going to be tough right now for Infinity. They're going to have to win the rest of the matches to at least tie it or at least come back to win it. But can they get this done so far? Both teams, very close game, close situations in the maps, though, uh, Nixie. Well, we just saw Canals just a second ago. We saw how aggressive Infinity was playing. Insanes as well, but Infinity really stood out to me as an aggressive team. Anything could happen. We're going back. People can refine their strategies, regain the momentum. It's really anybody's game at this point. Uh, honestly, Infinity has to build on some momentum. You know, they have to get something started, win the early rounds, take this momentum and go on a nice run because that's how you get back when you're in a deficit like this. So let's kick off with the action right now. We will have the Insanes playing as the Locust. Well, we have Infinity playing as the Cog. We are following Predator the Sniper right now for the Insane, picking that up at his bridge, and he's going to look for some pickoffs. Meanwhile, we're just looking at everybody else on the Quant split. They're just holding it back behind the pillars. No aggressive play so far being utilized here. Next week. It looks like both teams are trying to slow it down. They don't want to make the mistakes in the first game. Just trying to catch each other off guard. Just coming to a complete stop right now. As you see on the Infinity side, I know you guys at home can't really see it that well, but nobody's moving. Yeah, basically, uh, it looks like it's going to be a snipe, uh, snipe fest going on as we're following Atmosphere now. The other sniper for, um, well, should I say the other sniper for the other team? Because there is only one spawn waiting for the next spawn to come up, but... He's actually one of the key players. He's able to get some good frags going on. I remember he's actually a, a comical guy as well. I was reading the, uh, the interviews when he actually won the uh, MLG championships last year against, once again, uh, Insane. He was actually saying, hey, I'm usually a good player, but this time I wanted to let, let my teammates get some frags in. <laughs> so maybe this is why he's holding this back here. But in my opinion, I don't think he should because they're actually chilling behind by so much. So I guess at this rate, since they are actually facing elimination and to actually only get second place and losing the chance to get $20,000 here is the reason why they're not playing as aggressive as they used to and the first time we saw Canals. Well, well it's $20,000 on the line. You know, exactly. they don't want to mess it up. This is, this is their last map that they have to play if they lose. And, and that's not what they want to happen. Yeah. You know, one thing I got to comment on, we were sitting there watching the sniper, but compared to Halo, where when you get the sniper, you're considered a main slayer. You're expected to go huge. You're expected to get those blainers. But over in Gears of War, when you have the sniper, you're more of a scout. You're more there to support your teammates. Sure, headshots are great. Downs are even better. But you're more like a support player with the sniper in Gears of War. It's so hard to actually get your, your quick scopes going on as well, trying to move around and trying to scope in and get your opponent down. It's not the same feel as in Halo 3. But right now we're following John 603 at the bottom mid, who yeah, just got down. picked up. Yeah, it's actually he's gonna get revived here as he's just waiting for some cover. No, he's gonna get executed right there. So it's gonna be now a four-on-three situation. Jenna is here. He's gonna get pushed in by the corner as well by the sandbags. But uh, actually, we did get a down going in. He did. He was able to take down Warrior with his teammate. So we do. Uh, we are at a three-on-three -three situation. So you see a lot of the times these players bouncing wall to wall to wall to wall. Setting up a crossfire in the water, they did spot somebody there to try to take him down. Let me just see who he could have been. I think it was it was Killer actually who just got down as well. So we got three on two in favor of Infinity. As now Genetics is just hanging out here towards that mid bridge, if I'm not mistaken, waiting for the grenades to spawn. Use that in their advantage to actually spread out the guys from hiding from uh, the pillars. So he's just waiting down there. Things are slow once again. So this is this is a typical canals that we're actually used to now on Gears of War. DMAC, you said that this is actually one of the maps that you know. Do you actually play this map a lot here when you have a chance uh, to play Yeah, Gears? especially because it's in Gears 2. I jump on Gears 2 <laughs> all the time. But canals is definitely one of my favorite maps. It's, it's just a lot. It's like longest from Halo 1. It's long, narrow path. It's sometimes it could be aggressive, and sometimes you just have to camp. Yep, and at this rate now, Z Killer, I could see him just uh, with, with Predator as well, actually, as we're looking at Predator. He's just... Hugging that pillar, going for that shot with the snap to go for the active reload and try to come back here and get a shot in and get a one shot against his opponent because they are at a one man disadvantage. He's actually meeting up with his teammate right now. I guess they're going to try to go for a push right now on the other side. What's going to happen? They are calling for a sniper at middle. Insane is trying to close out the deal. They want to go home, they want to grab their check and put $5,000 in each one of their pockets. They are answering right now for this. Well, obviously not that anti. They're going to let the time <laughs> run out. we got a minute left on the clock. They're just sitting back, and I wanted to make a point. Check out that sniper rifle. Check him out. You think he's missing shots, but he's coming as close as can be. Next thing best to a headshot. It's really difficult to snipe in Gears of War, as you see there. He's taking a body oh, shot. Man. 
We actually almost had a flank going on as well. And Predator is going to go down. Z Killer is going to be the last man standing trying to stay alive. He's bobbing and weaving here, passing that sniper rifle. Gonna look back towards the bottom of the stairs. And it looked like Z Killer on the way out. We barely missed it. Was able to take out God 603. He still got genetics and sneaky alive, of uh, course. He just got down though, and that round is gonna go to Infinity. Big round for Infinity. Infinity, Infinity that needed that round. Come out strong. Take the next round. Build some momentum. For sure, especially the, at the slow pace game like that, and they're actually facing elimination. Getting that first round is going to help them come back in this one, maybe start using their other strategies again, play more aggressively, and maybe cash here in Saints off guard. So now Genetics of Infinity looks like he's going to go for a charge here towards that mid bridge, but instead of going for that torque, he's just going to go with his teammate and just go for some suppressing fire at the lower mid onto the other side. Meanwhile, let's see what's going on here, as uh, I think we should have Predator for Insane sniping and Dean, and who do we have? It's gonna be Atmosphere sniping for Infinity as well. So we do have our designated snipers here for either team, or for both teams, rather. And we're just gonna scout it out once again, getting the feel and getting the gameplay of their opponents here. Whoever costs them for the first mistake will actually cost that match. He does spot somebody at that mid bridge there by the grenades, but he wasn't able to react fast enough to get that dragon or to get a shot off. So Predator just on the other side with his time scoping. He, oh, he just tried to scope there and try to get Predator down. And I, actually, he did down him. So yeah. Predator is actually down on the floor as we're looking at him right now. He's looking to get revived by his teammate. Shot. Killer is going to be the one that falls back to revive him. Nice shot indeed, like you said, DMAC from Amaze, also known as Atmosphere, if you guys are actually looking at the roster at MLGPro.com. And we're wondering why we're saying Atmosphere all the time. Check out here's another important tactic. And here's the war, of course. You got Predator, corner shooting. I mean, his reticle's coming around the wall. It's a right-hand advantage. So anytime the wall's to your left and you're aiming around the right, you have an advantage because of the camera angles. Not so much on the left side. That's why you see him posted up on this side compared to just free roaming on the other side of the wall. Interesting analysis right there by Nexi. So we're gonna switch over to Sneaky of Infinity. Things are very slow. They're, they're not really looking uh, face front either here. He's on not the, this. being very sneaky right now. <laughs> <laughs> More like Heidi. <laughs> so it is one to nothing though so far.